Hello class, so I'm going to show you how to uh, begin your symbolic still life and you know explain how you're going to proceed with it. Okay, so the first step, and you're going to want to do this with the HB pencil. First step is to do a gesture drawing of, you know, just the still life you're looking at. And, you know, you could use, you know, these sketches um, as references, you know, to figure out how you can compose it. Um, but you're going to want to be doing, you know, your observation from, you know, life by looking at the still life. And you're going to want to start off light and loose, okay, as always. And I suggest doing the overhand grip. Okay, and you don't have a sight at this point. Um, you know, you could just kind of uh, eyeball it, okay? You're just drawing real light and loose. Okay, so once you've established it by eyeballing it, uh, then you can start to, um, you know, do some measurements, okay? Um, and you're going to want to pick a basic unit, and I could pick the basic unit of, how about the height of this microphone, okay? And this microphone, by the way, is called the snowball, okay? So I'm going to use this as the basic unit. Okay, and right now it's okay if it's a little sketchy, but later you're going to refine this so it's nice and clean. Okay, so now I'm looking at this snowball, and I'm going to use it to measure the space from the bottom of the snowball to the top of the uh, shoe. Okay, it's about one, one snowball, <laughs> one snowball to the top of the shoe. Okay, now I did a measurement and I'm realizing it's about one snowball to the top of the computer. Okay, so it's a little bit lower than I have it right now. And I'm still doing this in the HB pencil. Okay, I'm going to use my pencil to measure this angle. Okay, I know you can't see it, but I'm, you know, I, I use my pencil to measure this angle using the method I described in uh, one of the demo videos. Basically, I'm looking for the angle, and I set my pencil perfectly vertical. Okay, and I'm realizing that this right here ends at the bottom of this. And once you, you know, once you are done with your construction lines, those gestural lines, 
the ones that you use to figure out where things are at, then you're going to want to erase them, okay? Otherwise, they may become distracting later. Okay, so these types of lines, you're going to want to erase them. And you're going to be doing this, actually, the final piece in a uh, pencil. You actually want to keep this pretty light. So make sure you do this initial uh, part in an HP pencil. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, once you've uh, established the proportions, uh, then you're gonna wanna go through and you're gonna do your contour drawing. Okay, and I'm gonna start by drawing this shoe. And I'm gonna, and in this project, the goal is to help, it's not only suggest a light source, but also create some depth. Okay, so with this shoe, I'm gonna be using a little bit of a heavier lead. Or graphite okay I'm gonna be using a 4b pencil okay and just as a little review um, the 6b is the softest so it's gonna get the darkest mark the 4b a little bit harder than the 6b still pretty dark the 2b my 2b is kind of small because I use it a lot is harder than the 4b and then HB is harder than all of these okay so HB hardest 6B softest, okay? And then there's also, you know, 2H or 4H, and those would be harder than the HB. And maybe eventually I'll get to the 6B, but I'm going to start off with just the 4B in the front here. And you're going to be doing this one in graphite. Okay, if you haven't noticed yet, this one's all going to be done in graphite. Okay, and once you begin to establish the more final lines, you're one of going to go you're going to go through and you're going to erase these um, initial lines, okay? Okay, you want it to be nice and clean. Okay, so you want nice and clean lines. Okay, so you're gonna want to erase these, you know, initial lines that you made to establish the proportions, to figure out your composition. Okay, and you're gonna want to get nice clean lines.
Okay, and then you continue to develop that. Um, but I'm going to show you how you could do, you know, another section such as this um, sketchbook. Okay, so sketchbook's a little bit farther away, so I might use a 2B pencil. Okay, something a little bit lighter. You know, you could have used a 4B pencil too, but I'm going to use a 2B. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can, you know, suggest depth by using a lighter valued line in the back. Okay, and I'm going to do this using the HP pencil. And I'm going to and draw, you know, the outlines of these drawings in the back. Okay, and I'm going to line this up a little bit just so I can see the line that I'm drawing in. I'm going to line up quite a bit. Okay, you can probably see my head a little bit, but it's the only way I could draw this. Okay, and I'm going to very... So in the shadow, I'm still going to draw a thicker line. But it's going to be very light, okay? Take the, and it's going to take a little practice, just so you could develop it evenly. And sometimes you can just, you know, draw it in and then go over it lightly and line it up. But sometimes you press too hard to also erase it, so it just takes a lot of practice to get an evenly light line that's thick, okay? Okay, and that's what you could do to uh, create a lighter line, okay, and create some depth. It's up to you how light you want to go with it. Okay, I'm going to leave it at this stage, uh, but you, you get the idea, you know, you're going to continue this development across um, the whole composition.